Hi guys, this video is about the MCM system that comes shipped with version 3 of Sky UI. For those of you who are not using Sky UI or didn't realize version 3 was out, MCM is a system that was added to Sky UI that allowed other mod authors to add settings for their own mods in the actual game's menu system rather than using powers, rather than using uh, books that you read to change things in these and let's face it in these fairly hard to use menu systems it replaces it with a massively user-friendly system where you can change values with sliders you can have key presses decided simply by selecting them there are check boxes for on-off values and so on. There are so many different uh, options. It's very user-friendly. It's very pleasant to use. And from a mod author's point of view, it is actually a lot easier to make one of these menus than it is to make a menu with a book or a power or a spell. Once you get the hang of making MCM the these menus, you could probably make a menu for your mod in about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and changing it when you add new settings is trivial. It really is, it takes minutes to do. So, so mod authors are going to add settings to their mods a lot more often, a lot faster, and a lot safer. These, these things are, are very easy to maintain. And so much so that a lot of mods have adopted the system almost immediately. There are loads of mods now using it and I, I I think that you are going to find any mods that require settings changes are probably going to use the MCM system. It, as I said, it's just so much easier and it is so user friendly that you are going to find mods that allow setting changes are going to use this. Now obviously that's going to be a problem for people not using Sky UI. Now, if the reason you're not using Sky UI is because you don't want to use SKSE, then I'm afraid there's nothing that can be done. The MCM system requires SKSE. It will not work without it. There's no way of doing that, and I'm afraid, I'm afraid you're you're stuck there. And that is unfortunate because, as as I said, I do believe a lot of mods are going to start implementing MCM systems without implementing alternatives. It is, um, you know, I mean, don't quote me on that, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but as I said, it's so easy to implement the systems, and they're so user-friendly, I think that's going to happen. But, if you don't mind using SKSE, but the reason you're not using Sky UI is you actually are not that keen on the menu system. I mean, I'm not sure why that would be, but that's personal taste, of course. I'm, I like Sky UI. But there are some people who actually prefer the original menu. Uh, perhaps this is too small for them. Although, um, I will point out that you can actually change Sky UI, well, quite a lot from font size, etc. So you, you can actually customize it quite a lot. And I would encourage you to at least try Sky UI and see if you can customize it to, to meet your needs. However, if you don't, if, if you just prefer the... Uh, the original vanilla menus, and perhaps it's because you you play the game using a controller on a large screen, uh, and for some reason it's better for you. I, I don't know, but of course, you know, that's up to you, isn't it? If you prefer that, I understand. Oh, one thing I will note, some people have wondered whether Sky UI is compatible with controllers. Yes, it is, very compatible. So if that's the reason, <laughs> there's there's no reason. But as I said, if it's just that you prefer Sky UI, uh, the vanilla UI to Sky UI, don't worry, there is an alternative for you. So how do we get MCM without the Sky UI menu system, without their inventory and spells, etc.? Well, the first thing, you do need SKSE. As I mentioned, you do need SKSE. And if for some reason you haven't installed that yet, I have done a video on it. Um, I tried to be as detailed as I could. Feel free to watch that and follow the steps. It's not actually hard to install. It's a tiny bit different to normal mods, but not that much. Don't worry about it. 
The next thing you're going to need is in fact Sky UI. You're going to need to install that first. Don't worry, bear with me. So install Sky UI, go along to the Sky UI page, go to the file section and download with manager on the latest version, which at the moment is version 3.1. Once it has downloaded, uh, now I'm, I've just updated to uh, 0.4 on Nexus Mod Manager, and I'm not quite used to this yet. I'm assuming it's under user interfaces. Um, I'm going to switch views for now. Um, actually, that is pretty cool. Um, go along to the file you downloaded, Sky UI, and activate it. As you can see, I've already activated it. There you go. So it's pretty simple, very easy to install. I would then recommend you go and check that it is in fact working. Once you confirm that Sky UI is working, you now need to go and to a web page called Sky UI Away. This is a basically a small mod written by one of the authors of Sky UI, uh, Mardox to restore the vanilla user interface. Um, obviously, the Sky UI guys, they prefer Sky UI, but they, you know, in their, um, in their generosity, they have heard people's requests to have MCM without Sky UI and provided this file. Um, it's very, very easy to use indeed. Just, as I said, you've installed Sky UI, go along to the file section here, Download with Manager on Sky UI Away and wait for it to download. Once it's downloaded, simply activate that. If it asks you to overwrite any files, I suggest you hit yes. It shouldn't actually do that unless you're using some other mod that alters your user interface. If you're doing that, you may well have noticed some strange issues with Sky UI anyway. I would recommend yes. This will replace the user interface with the vanilla one. And that's it. It's actually installed. Now, once you get in game, immediately press escape. Go along to mod configuration and select Sky UI. Go to the advanced tab and you will see an SWF version checking. What you essentially need to do is deselect all of these. Deselect all of these and hit back, tab to go back. Now, what this is going to do is disable the warning messages that are going to come up when I press the inventory menu like that. You'll see it's actually appeared even though I have disabled it. They appear once at the start of your game every time you load the game by default. Switching those off mean they will not appear ever again after I open the menus like so. So I go through all the warnings. I've selected, I've said I don't want the warnings. And then I open the menus in question. Um, and as you saw, you need to open the GIF menu, container menu, and barter menu as well to get rid of them. Once you've opened them once in your save game with these deselected, they will never appear again. So once I've done that, once I go and open the barter menu, container menu, and gift menu, I then save my game immediately. And now if I load the game, and now I open my inventory, vanilla inventory, still there. Now I realize that's a few extra steps and it might be a little bit irritating to do that and you do unfortunately have to do that for all you, for, for each save. So if you're playing three or four different characters you have to do it for each one and if you start a new game you're probably going to have to do it for that as well. But for this character now if I continue with this save I will never have to do it again and I have all the advantage of being able to use the mod configuration menu to alter all my mods, which is, as I've said, very useful indeed. So there it is. You can now have MCM without Sky UI if you so choose. And I mean, I would obviously encourage you to do so. Uh, you do need SKSE, you really do. But honestly, at this stage in Skyrim's modding life, there's almost no reason not to use it. And there are a lot of great reasons to use it. Um, I present 
this as evidence <laughs> as a great reason to use it. MCM by itself is a great reason to use SKSE, uh, seeing as most of the mods on my list here also require SKSE for full fu functionality. There are so many great reasons to use it, and to be honest, no really good reasons not to use it. I know some people are reluctant to use third-party software, uh, but you shouldn't be. Uh, it's, uh, it's a brilliant tool, is SKSE, and it's only going to get better. But this video is not a video to uh, talk about the great benefits of using SKSE. I just wanted to help you guys out if you really wanted MCM, but for some reason you liked the old user interface, you can have both. You can have it, and it's not that hard. Little bit of extra work, but really not that difficult. Anyway, I hope this video helped, guys.